keep coming back and watching my videos. But now the trailer you guys seen on my previous video, I got a light kit that came with it and I was installing it last night. And I was trying to get it to where it was hooking up like a real trailer with the plug onto the back of the truck. So I went to the store, well the hobby store, the Nakin over here in my general area. And I got me the uh, extendable wires. I got an 18 inch one and I had a nine inch one, I think it was called. And I uh, connected it to my uh, light connectors onto the uh, light kit that came with the trailer. And it did not work no more. I guess the lights didn't couldn't handle what was pushing out of the truck or the receiver. But I had to go buy a new light kit that had 10 bobs in it. And I got that to work and everything properly like how I was thinking that it would work in my head with having two connectors. And it was plugged in to the back of the truck and to the receiver. And now I have lights, which you guys have seen in this video, kind of a little bit of process of how I did it. And hopefully this kind of helped you guys. So if you guys try to do something like this with the trailer or anything you have, now you know kind of like what you can do to make it where you can unplug and plug it back in with it hooked and unhooked to the truck. So hopefully you guys like this video. Please like and subscribe. Enjoy. All right, just have it plugged in here, just testing it. And I have lights. All six of them work off that one. I soldered the wire and I glued, hot glued everything. I soldered the wire and then I glued everything in place. So now I got lights when I turn it on and off. different settings for them. I got it to work this trailer came with a light kit that had that a light kit that had that All right, I'm gonna show you guys how I got this to work. This 10 bob light kit has this, and I put some hot glue on there so it can kind of protect it from getting wet. So if anything happens, it won't get damaged by water. And then I ran all the lights to the specific areas I wanted it. The front and the two in the front, this one here, I had to drill the hole for it. So I got all the wires hot glued down, and then this here is the connector for it. What I did is get an extension wire, which is right here, you see it, and I extended it 
to the nose of the trailer. Now, I took an 18 inch wire, extension wire, ran it from the receiver to the back of the truck. And this right here, when you unplug it, kills the power to the trailer. And all you gotta do is plug it back in, hit the button, and they're back on. That's my little trailer light kit that I just put together that I have not seen nobody do. So if you would like one of these trailer light kits, let me know and I can get one together and you can install it by using my instructions. Hopefully this one shows you guys that you can do anything with whatever kind of lights you have. You just gotta know how to set it up properly.